We are doing it today, you all. We are talking about this OG of a fragrance from the house of Bond number nine, you all. And this is Chinatown. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. These are Maria. Yes, we're doing a dedicated fragrance review. I know you all love these. And we are talking about this beauty right here. Bond number nine's Chinatown. As you can see, her packaging is fun. It has two sides. I'm here for it. <laughs> As always, when it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by five categories. The first category is mood, and it is simply, when do I see myself wearing this fragrance? What time of year? What type of event? That is what we talk about in the mood category. Second category is strength, and that's on a scale of one to 10, with one being, this ain't nothing but water in a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear powerhouse juice. Third category is longevity, and it is how many hours long lasting is this fragrance, because we do care. Fourth category is, is this a compliment getting fragrance? Yes or no? There, you know, it's kind of fun, kind of subjective. We talk about it there. And then the fifth category is, does this compare to any other fragrance? Does it smell like to anything else in my collection or something I have smelled while sampling? another time we talk about it there so now you know how we do things and let's get into this review on chinatown lipstick of the day today everyone i'm rocking out with mac sore lipstick which is this plummy type of color it is fall i'm so here for it as always details on the face and everything will be in the description box below as well as the fragrance we're talking about today next up is fragrance of the day and since this is a dedicated review the fragrance of the day is going to be the bell of the ball and that is this fragrance right here ball number nine's chinatown <laughs> and now let's get into the specs and backstory on this scent this fragrance is not a new fragrance at all so <laughs> this is not a hype beast this is not a hot off of the press situation oh no this fragrance came out in 2005 in fact this fragrance is 19 years old it's pushing 20 years old so this scent is old y'all especially by today's standards where so many fragrances are coming out multiple fragrances are coming out particularly from the house of bond right now in one year yeah so this scent has been a minute and the fact that it's still out it has not been discontinued to my knowledge it's still on the market it's still on their website that says something so one thing i've learned about this scent and doing research for it and even when i was personally thinking about getting the scent is that chinatown has a cult following people that have chinatown that have been rocking it have been doing so for years and they swear by it you can't tell them nothing else about it nothing but good things <laughs> So that's always interesting to me. And I also learned too, this is a fall bridal scent for a lot of ladies. When I was doing my own bridal scent search, when I was in my own wedding planning process, I had multiple women tell me that this was their scent as well as boutique owners that sell bond. They was like, no, this scent is bought by brides. I'm like, really? Interesting enough. So also, by the way, I have had my bottle for two years. I got it in September of 2022. So me and this scent have spent a long time together. My thoughts are fully formed on this fragrance. <laughs> so let's get into the notes of this scent, you all. So officially they have the notes as peach blossoms, gardenia, tuberose, patchouli, and cardamom. So I'm like, okay, I'm like florals and whatnot. But what made this interesting to me was that cardamom note in it. And I'm like, hmm interesting we'll see what, what that's going to do so let's also talk about sizes and pricing of this fragrance so the 50 ml size which is the size that i have by the way this is the 50 ml bottle it's cute it is travel friendly that's why i love the 50 mils 50 ml retails for 275 dollars and for a really 100 ml size i have my bottle of nomad to demonstrate that so you can see the comparison the 100 ml size retails for 420 dollars for chinatown and this is so you can see the bottles are heavy. So that's why I'm holding them in the middle, but just so you can see the size comparison. By the way, I've already reviewed Nomad on the channel. Definitely check that out if you're interested in it. Spoiler alert, this one is amazing and great for cold weather too. <laughs> so I'm gonna refresh my nose with this scent, even though I am wearing it. And again, I've had the bottle for two years, had the scent in my collection, but you know, ain't nothing wrong with a fresh spray, especially for a dedicated review. And then so I can also tell you what I get from the scent, not just what Bond says you're supposed to get. <laughs> I do get the peach blossoms for sure. I do get the florals, the gardenia, tubero situation. I do get a mashup of florals. I can't say they're indiscreet, like, oh, this is tuberose. I can't say that. But the peach blossom does stick out. The other florals, not so much to me. Peach blossom for sure. But that cardamom is so prominent, which gives it like a nutty quality to it. Cardamom gives things a little spicy, a little bit of edge. And then there is that patchouli in here too. Patchouli always makes things last longer, gives it more oomph in my opinion, especially when we talk about floral fragrances. But in my opinion, the cardamom is the star of this fragrance and what makes it stand out. And I can really see how for 2005, this stood out because I think about 2005 and fragrances and things that were out at that time. I was wearing perfume at the time. I don't remember checking for anything with a cardamom. So 
I can see how this was a big deal when it came out, just to put in, you know, time frame context. Yes. Oh, and by the way, this is one of those scents that as you spray it, it grows, projects more and it gets louder. This is one of those scents. So what you spray on paper, just off of first spray, give it some time. It gets louder and especially on skin, it gets louder. I also want to give you all that context with Chinatown. Wow. <laughs> So now let's talk about the rating system. So first category, y'all, mood. Mood of this scent with Chinatown, 100% this is a fall fragrance. This is a fall floral fragrance is what it is. And again, it is because of the fact that there's that cardamom in here and that patchouli. If those two notes were not in here, this would be a generic, any time of year, whatever, run of the meal floral fragrance. That is feminine, 100%. <laughs> So this is like a feminine scent, but with a little slight spicy edge. It's like, oh, okay. I smell the florals, but I'm getting this nuttiness and this slight spiciness going on in this scent too. So she has character, but for fall. And I would say you can wear this day or night because that's been my experience. Although I tend to reach for it more so in the daytime in the fall, but you can wear it at night. Next category, strength. Now for strength, that's on a scale of one to 10. To me, this scent is a 7.5. I know y'all like, wait, you know we don't do 0.5s. The reason I added that 0.5 to this one is because, again, going back to what I was saying about when you first spray it, you first spray, you get a whiff of it, but I'm telling you, five minutes later, 10 minutes later, you're like, wait a minute, whoa. It gets louder, it gets stronger, it warms up on the skin. That's where that 0.5 comes in. So absolutely, this is solidly a 7.5 of a fragrance. You're gonna know you sprayed it, you're gonna know you wore it, it does fill the room. <laughs> And next category is longevity. How many hours long lasting is Chinatown? And in my experience, she performs, she lasts you all. I get seven hours out of her. Seven hours out of her, that is on clothing as well as on skin. She projects and lasts on my skin. I don't have to babysit her at all. She lasts me a full day and I'm okay with it. So that again is the longevity category. Next category is, is this a compliment getting fragrance? That is a yes or no answer. And I have to say you all, I get why Chinatown has a following for this reason because she does get compliments. She gets a lot of compliments and interesting enough, men compliment Chinatown. That has been my experience with this one. I don't know, it's like they can smell it. I don't know, like women don't necessarily notice Chinatown as much, but every time I've ever gotten a compliment from this fragrance, it's always been a man. They're like, yeah, I can smell them. It's like, it's different. It's feminine, but it's like different. Like it's kind of been like the thing, head up for say, you smell unique today, but I really like it. He's like, I like that though. So I'm like, okay. I'll take it. So femininity with an edge is what I get with this fragrance and it gets compliments. Last category, does this fragrance compare to anything else? That is a wonderful question. I'm gonna tell you why, because one thing about this scent, especially I know when people talk about Bond, I know a lot of times people criticize Bond for pricing and people try to say, oh, it's not unique, costs too much, it don't smell like nothing. This scent does not smell like anything else to my nose. So for that reason, the price can be justified depending on who you are. I say it is because this scent does not smell like anything else. And I've always told y'all too that Bond does florals extremely well. In my opinion, even though this is a fall fragrance, Bond's best season is spring and they just do florals extremely well. And this is a fall take on florals. So, I mean, I would expect nothing less because they do florals very well. So if you've been looking for a floral fragrance, but with the fall edge, I highly recommend checking out Chinatown. Again, this is one of those fragrances that has been out for, it's been out for almost 20 years. So this is one you can catch sales on. You can catch a deal on at this point, for sure. You all know I post sales and deals all the time in my community tab but alas this scent is still worth the price whether you get a deal on it or not i think it is i've seen bond put it in their gift sets and things like around the holidays and whatnot so it lets you know that it is a bestseller it does well so i personally co-sign this scent i think it's worth it this is one that once i'm done with my 50 mil it probably will get upgraded to that 100 mil size because i do enjoy this fragrance it's two years later and i'm still reaching for it and y'all know i have a huge fragrance collection I think Chinatown is 100% worth it. So, all right, everyone, that wraps up this dedicated review on Bond Number no. 9's Chinatown. This is a yes because she sings in the fall, honey. She's different. She's unique. She makes a statement, and I am 100% here for it. Let me know what you think about Chinatown. Have you smelled it before? Have you probably owned it in the past? Because, again, she's been out forever at this point. So let me know what you think about it. And if you haven't smelled it in recent years, I highly recommend re-smelling this one. You might like it now because our noses do change. This is one I've started to like even more now than when I first bought it. Because at first I didn't quite get it and it has taken me time to understand it. And now I understand it two years later. <laughs> so let me know what you think everyone and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.